this is the waiting part. Uh, what's in this All right. Courtney, can you hear me? Yes. Awesome. I am going to welcome everyone on this Facebook Live. If you guys are watching, uh, comment below if you have any questions that Courtney is going to be talking about today. Um, my name is Eric Suf, you guys don't know, and uh, I do these podcasts to help people uh, live healthier lives through experts like Courtney. And um, we're going to get this recording started in a second. All right, in three, two, one. Hey guys, Eric Sue here. Welcome to another episode of Healthy Living with Eric Sue. We have a unique and artistic beauty consultant with us today. Her name is Courtney Sweet. We'll be talking about makeup hacks for a healthier lifestyle and how to look one's best in 2017. So without any delay, let me introduce you all to Courtney. Courtney, are you ready to make it happen? Yeah. Courtney is a passionate makeup artist and beauty consultant based out of Los Angeles, California. She loves to collaborate with her clients as well as other artists in her artistic process. Courtney specializes in beauty, special event, and editorial makeup. Her experience working for Dior and Georgie, Georgie Lashes has given her the knowledge and skill set to achieve a flawless, natural, and undeniable Beauty, beautiful look for her clients. Courtney, that was just a little bit about who you are. Can you share with us a little bit more? I know uh, real quick here that you were on episode 109, but just real quick for those who don't know who you are. Um, not too much more to say. I'm a makeup artist here in LA, and um, I do have a passion for healthy living, just like you, Eric, and so that's kind of what brought us together to collaborate again, and I'm just happy to be here having this chat and sharing some tips with all of your viewers, so let's jump right into awesome. it. Awesome. Very good. So let's, let's just dive right into it, Courtney. Uh, we came up with um, this topic of makeup hacks for a healthier lifestyle, and so let's just go right into it. What are some tips for women who wear makeup to the gym? Makeup to the gym. Um, uh, please don't if you can avoid it. Um, most people can avoid it. Um, so if I have any advice for people that do, this is for people who deliberately do wear makeup to the gym and feel that they must wear makeup to the gym. Um, so if you are going to do that, you know, and you're waking up and washing your face and getting ready to put on makeup for the gym, um, definitely use a primer, um, even if you aren't putting on so foundation, on, you know, anything like that. Um, you're going to protect your skin from the other makeup that's going to inevitably navigate away from where you originally put it and uh, protect your precious skin. And um, another bonus is, you know, uh, you can also use a makeup setting spray to also help it from moving around. Um, something like uh, MAC 6 Plus, um, anything like that will do. Um, another thing, you know, use the minimum amount necessary that you feel like you need to wear and avoid putting it in areas that you know you're going to sweat the most. Um, great example would be your eyebrows. Uh, I think we all know the sweat pretty much goes right there. Yeah. And uh, if you're going to be, you know, wiping sweat off your face, you're going to probably move that around a lot and it's going to be dripping into your eyes and probably irritating you and your workout if you're having a good one. Right. Um, mm -hmm. so if, if you do really need to fill in your eyebrows, you know, use something that is, um, really sticky, it's not going to move. Um, they have stuff like uh, like a brow pomade. Um, they have uh, like Anastasia. It looks like it looks like this. It looks like glue, <laughs> mm. something like that. Um, so another tip: um, use natural and practical products. Um, 
natural in the fact that it's not going to irritate your skin during your workout or after your workout. So you don't want to leave, you know, looking worse than you did going into it. That's that's the point of working out, right? Um, yeah. You know, just a little bit of concealer and nothing that's going to break you out or else yeah. what are we doing here? And then right. practical products like let's use a lash primer so your your lashes aren't getting brittle and, and use waterproof mascara so you're not going blind while you're working out, you know? Um, just real really quick, good Courtney, lash just, just something came up real quick uh, in my mind, which is um, yeah. a lot of people work out after work, and obviously they wear makeup at work. Um, yeah. is, is there something that people should do if, if you're advising not to wear makeup at during the workout, yeah. something they could do prior to so, or after getting, well, I should say after work, getting to the gym and prior to the workout. Yeah, yeah, totally. So I've been there and, you know, most people put on makeup during the day and plan on working out later. So, you know, if A, if you're going to sweat it all off anyways, and B, you, you, you're planning on wearing makeup in the morning and planning on sweating later in the day, bring makeup remover wipes or actual makeup remover whatever it is and take it off before your workout if you're going to sweat it all off you're going to be way better off you're going to be way more comfortable um so bring those with you super easy there are so many out there um definitely bring that okay excellent very good um did you want to say more about this uh for women who wear makeup to the gym um yeah you know if you if you feel the need to do that i would say just um you know, everything else I've said applies and just, you know, be mindful of your skin, listen to your body. If you feel like things are irritating your skin, you, you need to listen to that and um, maybe try and continue to use less and see how it feels to do it without wearing makeup and that might help clear up your skin and, you know, it's a vicious cycle sometimes if you feel like you need to wear makeup to the gym and it can make your skin worse and then you need to mm. wear more so sometimes it's just better not to but if you do you know yeah. follow this tip yeah 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 i i think people wear uh, makeup to the gym just to cover up uh blemishes or whatnot right and and then you would say say not to do that as well right i say just um like use the minimum amount necessary and use something that is like like a natural product that isn't making you break out worse mm. um like, I know for me, I have like a L'Oreal True Match. For whatever reason, like, this concealer doesn't break me out. I like, I have very sensitive skin, and I know a lot of people that feel the need to wear makeup to the gym are doing that because they have sensitive skin, and everything breaks them out, and they're still wearing that because they have a lot of blemishes, right? Um, keep looking, keep finding, even maybe buy something from your dermatologist, you know, that isn't irritating you. Um, cause if it's making it worse, then that it's going to keep making it a problem. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Definitely keep trying. Um, and, and not all products are bad, right? No, of course not. No, it's just, a, it really depends on the person. Yeah, absolutely. Um, let's, let's keep going here. Uh, what are some ways to make looking good after a workout easier or less complicated? Sometimes we, we try to do our, our um, pre, pre going to the work makeup setting or something like that, I guess. I don't know what it is, but um, what do you have for, for that? Making, yeah, like making it easier for yeah. me um, is doing most of the prep work outside of that and doing it in my downtime and at home. Um, so that can be anywhere from like keeping my travel bag like completely stocked and ready to go, all of my essential tools and products and, you know, shampoo to makeup, like everything is like packed and ready to go the night before. Like that's going to help you save time the next day, like when you're getting ready. And then also as far as a makeup look, um, you want to prep everything else like at home you want so to have good skin you want to have a good skincare regimen at home right that's gonna that's gonna vary person to person of course but um 
most people, you know what that is for you. Um, exercising and drinking lots of water alone is going to help your skin tremendously. Um, but keeping your skin clean and hydrated is paramount to a healthy looking skin. And similar to avoiding going to the gym with makeup on, like don't go to bed with it on either. Like wash your face before bed and before you put on a fresh face of makeup. Um, another good one is like keeping your, like your brows and your hair, like everything maintained. Like before you get to the gym, don't go to do your makeup and be like, oh, I need to like fix my brows right now. Like that takes a lot of time, right? Like take care of that at home, whether a professional does it or you do it, whatever it is, like take care of it um, ahead of time for guys and for girls, right? Um, and what else your hair um i know i like to do sometimes like throw a deep conditioning mask like in my hair before i work out and then like washing it out it'll it'll keep it like really shiny really healthy if you're um if you're working out a lot and showering and shampooing your hair a lot can tend to make your hair really brittle for women Mm -hmm. Um, so that's a little tip from me to you um Mm -hmm. And yeah, those are just some things that I like to do outside of getting ready out the gym yeah. that have, have helped. You, just real quick with, um, with hair, do you, have you noticed that women's hair, sex is like my uh, fiance's hair is, is uh, curly, right? And, and mm-hmm. uh, putting a lot of product on it to keep it straight or ironing it and things like that uh, mm-hmm. to keep it straight. Um, if we're going to be more active and so forth, um, do you have any tips for someone who, who has that type of hairstyle? It depends how she likes to wear it. Honestly, mm-hmm. if she's um, if she wears it down a lot and has like a certain like gel that she likes to put in it, so she's washing it every day. Then sometimes mm-hmm. that just like takes a certain amount of time if you're washing it, putting in product, and like drying it. Um, but I know for me, like. Sometimes I like to wear it down, but sometimes I'll work out in like a braided bun and then I'll wear like a braid ponytail the rest of the day. And like, so if you're being active a lot of times, sometimes if you can find different ways to wear your hair, like um, just based on how you wear it when you work out and sort of like curtailing that into a different style later in the day and not necessarily like doing a full shampoo yeah. conditioner and dry like because that takes so much time and it, it it's a lot of wear and tear in your hair yeah, I was gonna so say, yeah. Yeah. yeah so um yeah just tell her ask for a hairdresser like what are some other things i can do with my hair after like wearing it in a bun or like yeah. what's a cool braid i can do or something like that um yeah, yeah. very good excellent um so got so very good so far um we had another question which was um, unique solutions that still get the job done uh, if you're on a budget for example unique um, okay unique solutions for, for getting ready yeah. um, okay um, so anything that you can do like to save time getting ready like combining two steps into one is a win and then as far as like budget solutions um i'll definitely mention project products that are budget friendly throughout the rest of this um so i'll mention both um so i guess i'll just describe to you like what my on the go makeup routine is um and where i find efficiencies in that um so like if i'm at the gym and i like get out of the shower and I'm starting my makeup um I usually do like a moisturizer and a mattifying primer in one um so obviously that's a few steps in one um a good example of that is some Dior's Capture Total but really like any mattifying primer will work um this is like Maybelline Baby Skin um just really you want to like seal in the moisture obviously like that's a pretty standard like beauty technique of after you get out of the shower um 
and anything mattifying because it's it's going to be very swampy, right? And mm. there there's a big challenge in doing your makeup like in a gym setting where you're yeah. like still sweating and it's it's like really moist and there's a lot of hair dryers, there's a lot going on. <laughs> so like it, you want to start with your like mattifying primer to like start combating that situation. Mm. Um, the next thing. Uh, I usually I just, like skip the foundation I don't usually have time to do like a full face like foundation with like a bunch of different types of foundation and then do concealer um, I uh, I'm wearing my 30 minute look of makeup right now by the way this is literally mm. just concealer and um, so this is my same like L'Oreal true match um, another really good one is NARS creamy concealer um, and I just dab it like under the eyes, um, any blemishes that I have, and usually my T-zone a little bit. And I also put it on my eyelids as a uh, primer for any eyeshadow I put on. So for a woman that's like anywhere from like two to five steps, depending on how mm. much makeup you usually put on. But um, I just use this one thing for all of that. And um, no, no. By the way, Courtney, what you are actually uh, demonstrating slash describing, do you think most women know how to properly do what you just said? Um. Do you find that people are confused about it? I don't. I mean, not in general, but. Um, you know, when we will do a summary sheet of what we've talked about and I can, right. you know, uh, describe and if anyone has questions, you know, yeah. I'm always here to answer. Um, so what she's talking about, you guys, is that um, we, we've uh, come up with a cheat sheet that we will be um, offering uh, after this podcast. Right, Courtney? And, yeah. Um, well, we'll let you, let you guys know when that is, but uh, it's still in the works. And, but uh, I think this was um, just a... Um, precursor to that but go ahead yeah um but I like I said I I do just concealer in the areas that I feel like I need to either brighten up or conceal and I usually use any type of concealer blush to just like blend it out um and let's see Next thing, you want to immediately set it with a setting powder because, like I said, it's swampy and warm and <laughs> difficult. Um, so, really, like a good, like, it's usually like white. This is a Makeup Forever's HD setting powder. And you're going to use like any type of like setting brush. Put that in there and be like setting it so it's not going to start moving everywhere. Mm -hmm. Um, next up is your brows. Like for me, when I'm getting ready at a gym, I've found that either using a brow pencil or eyeshadow with a, um, any type of angled brush are the two types of brow fillers that don't move around. Um, again, we'll type this all up for you. Um, the one that I usually use is the Anastasia brow pencil that looks like this and just filling it in really pretty quickly and it doesn't move around too much it's pretty easy um and then as far as an eye look i it's my everyday look i think this is technically a blush um it just looks beige <laughs> um easy you know everyday use this is a crease brush. This is all, I'll mention all of this. Yeah, also, you know what, yeah. I'm, I'm noticing that, that the tool makes all the difference too, apparently, right? Yeah, what, yeah. What you're using, so, right? yeah. Definitely all, all about like keeping your bag like ready to go and having like your favorite products and your favorite tools and really like, it might seem like there's a lot that I'm mentioning, but really it's, it's actually not that many and it it takes 20 minutes um mm -hmm. if, if you're 
used to doing it all the time. Um, so for me, you know, so I already did concealer kind of everywhere. I already have it on my eyelid. I go like this, put it in my crease, and like that's it for my eye look. And other than I, um, I'll do eyeliner next. Um, I usually just use like a Sephora brand liquid eyeliner, and then mascara. Um, mascara is going to depend on whatever type of mascara that you like to use. Um, everyone's eyelashes are different, so you know. Um, I like to use this Maybelline Rocket Volume Express. Like, works really well for me. But like, again, if you don't feel like you have a really good one, that's like an easy go-to. It works well every single time, and it's not like, um, like it's a mess, and it's like I don't know if it works. But like, mm. you know, go to Sephora, go to Ulta, like, get some help so you have a good one that's not gonna mess you up while you're at the gym. It's gonna take you more time. Yeah. You know, like get a good one. Yeah. Um, doesn't have to be expensive. Right. Um, yeah. Yeah. And then the last thing I do is like a blush bronzer. I have like a two in one blush bronzer. And um, this is like NARS blush in Madly. It kind of looks like a bronzer, but it's actually blush. And that saves time because that's also a two in one. And that's, that's it. Very good. That's Excellent. Um, you, I mentioned the tools. Um, and, and real quick here, any, any must have, must have beauty tools that you would recommend? Yeah, so the beauty tools that I like always use are going to be um, anything to blend out the concealer for the concealer part. Um, if you are using your fingers like at all, like hand sanitizer. Oh, <laughs> um, I was going to say, like, don't use your fingers. <laughs> Like, if you're at a gym and you're, I mean, you should really just have this regardless unless you're running to the sink every two seconds. Um, because if you think, like, your foundation isn't working for you, it's not your foundation. It's, like, the gym floor isn't working for you. Like, that's, <laughs> right? Like, it's not, like, it's so bad. Like, you gotta, you gotta have that all the time if you're getting ready in a public bathroom, hands down. So, that's one of them. Um, concealer brush. Um, I think, you know, anything to blend out, no matter what, if you're using eyeshadow, something to blend it out. Um, anything to set, setting powder, and a blush brush. Those are my, like, really essential brushes. There are tons of more brushes. These are just the ones that I use day in and day out. And, um, tweezers, because... You never know when you're just gonna need them, and you should just like always have them on you. <laughs> Excellent. Um, so all that stuff will be in our cheat sheet uh, for you guys. And uh, wanted to get to another topic here, with, which is how to look your best uh, this year. Um, this kind of came up because every year, I'm sure there's a new trend or something going on. Um, and so, what are we looking for this year? What beauty trends are we looking for this year? Yeah, you know, um, well, the good news is looking like you just worked out is kind of in this year, <laughs> sort of glowy skin, not like this um, really covered up heavy contour, you know, um, just looking like your natural self is very, very in, um, kind of everything that we've already talked about still applies, and um the natural brows are very much in this year um so that can be interpreted as a little just like less makeup on your actual eyebrows and a more natural shape um that doesn't mean no tweezing that doesn't mean a unibrow um that just means you know like maybe a, a little less aggressive of a structure perhaps um and then as far as you know, products, um, Benefit came out with a really great tinted brow gel. It's called Gimme Brow, and it's not just a tinted gel, but it's actually, like, volumizing, so um, really helps with that look that's very much in right now. Mm -hmm. um, and then 
other than looking very glowy and natural and having natural brows, you know, a way to like kind of pump up other things. You know, I always say like draw attention to your best features and what you really love about yourself. Um, and as, I would say as a rule of thumb, you know, pick one or two. To, don't don't do like your eyes and your cheeks and your lips and do all of it, but maybe like a bold smoky eye and a soft lip or like a winged eyeliner and a bold lip um, or just some mascara if you have really long lashes and um, some bold blush or, you know, most people know what their favorite features are and um, just playing around with that and playing around with different colors this year and um, all of that, all of that is in. It's all welcome. Excellent. Um, if, if there's one thing that you could share with our audience, um, kind of in summary, uh, what would that be, Courtney? Um, we've said a lot. Um, there's one or two take home messages. Um, what could you share with us? I would say um, take care of yourself and your skin and your health in order to achieve a polished, nice, clean look. Like if you're doing it quickly, if you're trying to look your best for an event, whatever it is, you know, um, if, if, you're, if you're working out and you're taking care of your skin, you're taking care of your hair, you're using the right products for you, you're using at least, you know, the minimum tools and um, doing the best you can to find the right things that work for you and um, accentuate your best features. I think that you're going to feel your best self in 2017. Yeah, um, for sure. There's a lot of great tips uh, that you shared with us, Courtney. Uh, like I said earlier, there will be a um, cheat sheet that we're creating uh, so that um, we can uh, get this to you guys in, in a paper form. and uh, Or you can watch this uh, Facebook Live again. Uh, how do people get a hold of you, Courtney, if they want to know more? Um, my website is CourtneyPSweet.com. I'm also on Facebook at Backshaw's Courtney Sweet Makeup Artistry. I'm on Instagram at Courtney Sweet Makeup and also at Pinterest backslash Courtney Sweet. Excellent, excellent. Um, she, uh, I've obviously uh, been in touch with her on Instagram and Facebook, so I've seen um, some of her great work as well, so go check that out. For, for inspiration. Um, I appreciate it, Courtney. I know that uh, it was a little bit of going back and forth, but we got it done. Uh, this was fun. I appreciate you sharing your tips. I'm sure people are going to uh, get a lot of, uh, of, of, of good knowledge for them, so I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you, Eric. So good to chat. Thank you.